All right, guys, I'm here to describe to you how to find the slope and the y-intercept from a graph. This might look like an option that you get on one of your assignments. So if you were given a graph and you were asked to find the slope and the y-intercept, here's a good video to help you do that. First thing we got to remember, that slope is our rise over our run. That's how much do we rise up and then how much do we run. Remember, our run is very important. If we run to the right, our slope will be positive. If we run to the left, our slope will be a negative. We gotta keep that in mind when we're looking at these graphs and make sure we do our slopes correct. Our y-intercept is where it crosses the y-axis. So I drew a quick sketch here of a graph. If this was my y-axis right here going up and down, here would be the y-intercept because that is where it is touching the y-axis. I have three examples that we're going to look at right now. Here's our first one. Our slope is our rise over our run. Let's see. Starting at this point, how many do I rise up to get to this point? I rise up one. And I run one, two. I ran two. And I have to make sure which way I ran. I ran to the right, so it is positive. So my slope is one over two or one half. This is supposed to say y intercept. Um, our y intercept is where it crosses this y axis. So this point right here is where it crosses. That point is at four. That's all we need to do. You identified the slope and you identified the y-intercept. If you'd like to take it a step further, some people will do that. If you want to write y equals mx plus b, you could totally fill that in. y equals my m is my slope, x plus my b is my y-intercept, so plus 4. There's the equation. If you want to go one step further, you can and do that right there. Our next graph looks like this. Again, our slope is our rise over run. If I'm starting at this point right here, how many do I rise up? One. And how many do I run? One. But I ran to the left, so I have to make sure I add a negative in there. My slope would be a negative. And it doesn't matter if you start at this point right here. You could start down here and see how many do you rise up? One and run one. You could go from any point. Here my slope is one over one, which we can simplify is just one, but I have to keep that negative. My slope is a negative one over one or just negative one. The y-intercept, where it crosses the y-axis right here, happens to be a positive one. If you want to take that step further and write the equation, y equals my m is negative one, x plus my b is positive 1. You wrote your equation. The last graph that we're going to try together is this one. We're going to calculate our slope with our rise and our run. I'm going to start up here. How many do I rise? 1, 2, and I run 1. Which way did you run? To the left, so we have to add a negative to our slope. Then the next thing is our y-intercept, where it crosses the y is down here. It crosses at a negative 3. Now let's see, that is our y-intercept. Let's see how we would write this equation. It would be y equals mx plus b. So if I'm filling this in, y equals my slope is my m. So 2 over 1, and we have to make sure we add that negative. x and my b is a negative 3. There is your equation. You just found the slope and the y-intercept from graphs. You can stop this video, you can rewind it and pause it as many times as you need, or you can always message Miss Jones with any questions that you might have.